Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for you. Friends, uh, let us solve another example of block diagram reduction technique. And here is the example. Find the transfer function for the following block diagram using block diagram reduction technique. So this is the given problem and we have to find the uh, transfer function for this diagram. Friends, uh, before that I have made some videos regarding the control system so you can watch the playlist here it is available in english as well as in hindi uh, in english as well as in hindi the problems are again different so you can uh, if you understand hindi as well then you can watch uh, the videos regarding this uh, control system uh, now this is our block diagram and we have to find the transfer function of this so uh, while solving such a block diagram problems, first we have to uh, find out whether any uh, one of the three rules are applicable or not. The, these three rules are blocks in cascade, blocks in parallel and a feedback loop. Now find here that there is no block which is in cascade. Also there is no block which is in parallel. Means you can't directly apply any rule here. So let us move toward the third topic, uh, third rule that is whether these are there is a feedback loop or not. Now see here carefully that you can have the feedback loop here, but this summing point should be there. So none of the three rules are applicable here, is applicable here. So let us move toward the next rules whether the block uh, you can split the uh, summing point now the summing point is given here as well as here but uh, you can't apply a splitting of summing point here so Anna, the next rule for the block diagram reduction is the interchanging of summing point now see that these two blocks uh, two summing points are consecutive to each other and we can interchange it but uh, before applying the rule first see that whether by interchanging this we, we will uh, have a simplified block diagram or not now after interchanging this definitely you will have the simplified diagram so our step number one is interchanging the summing point now after interchanging uh, see uh, note here that the sign of the summing point will not change as well as connection will not change means if this line is connected to this summing point which is having positive sign it will remain as it is and if this is connected to h2 it will remain as it is so i will just interchange you have to draw the other another block diagram here so in our step number one after interchanging what will happen this will come here this will connected here and the sign of that is positive for both okay and this h2 will now be connected to this one and it is having a negative feedback so i am connecting h2 here with negative sign and i have connected the feedback here which is having a positive sign the sign is not changed here the only thing that i have done is the interchanging of summing point so after step one you will get this and uh, definitely now you can find the solution for this now you can easily see that this G2 and H2 is a feedback loop. So our step number two is to solve this feedback loop. Now the formula for the feedback loop is G divided by 1 plus GH. Now instead of G, it is having G2 and for H, it is having H2. So the resultant will be this one. As this is having negative sign, in our formula it will be the positive one so i will replace this block in our step number two with a single block which is having transfer function this one that is g2 that is g2 upon one plus g2 h2 so after this uh, step number two we will get blocks like this one and now let us move to the next step 
you can see here that this g1 and this transfer function is here it is in parallel because the summing point is behind the block and therefore in such a case we can apply the parallel block here but the transfer function of this line is one so our step number three solving blocks in parallel and again solving uh, for solving blocks in parallel there is the sum of the block diagram the sign of this one as well as this g1 is positive therefore the sum will be one plus g1 and therefore this block will be replaced by one plus g1 so after this step you will get the resultant block as one plus g1 and this is our resultant block diagram after this step now our next step is to solve that is our step number four is to solve these blocks in parallel uh, sorry blocks in series so this block this block and this blocks are in series if the blocks are in series or cascade there is the multiplication of transfer function so this transfer function this transfer function and this transfer function will get multiplied and therefore i can write here this g3 will multiply here so this g3 block is eliminated here and 1 plus g1 will also multiply the numerator here so 1 plus g1 is in numerator you can further simplify this but for this step i am keeping the calculation as it is because in next step i have to find the transfer function now again look here that this is our final thing that is available here and in our next step here you can find the feedback loop here and therefore to solve this again we will apply the elimination of feedback loop so our uh, next step is to eliminate the feedback loop and here the feedback is of unity as there is no transfer function given the unity feedback is considered that is h is equals to 1 and transfer function will be equal to g divided by 1 plus gh here and therefore as h is equals to 1 it will be g divided by 1 plus g and therefore this is your g and this is your h which is not actually here so i will just write the multiplication of this with this one that is g2 g3 plus g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 h2 this is your g and now 1 plus g is again same one that is 1 plus g2 g3 plus g1 g2 g3 over 1 plus g2 h2 and therefore the final transfer function of this uh, denominator will get cancelled if this one is multiplied by this term and therefore in numerator you will get g2 g3 plus g1 g2 g3 over this is multiplied here that is 1 plus g2 h2 plus z2 z3 plus z1 z2 z3 so this is our final answer and thus we can solve any block diagram by using block diagram detection technique and this is our final answer that is the transfer function of this block diagram is this one or if they have asked you to reduce it into single block just write a block there r of s and c of s with uh, will be there and you have to write the transfer function as this one here the formula for transfer function is c of s over r of s that is laplace transform of output upon laplace transform of input thank you and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you